Hey, good morning, everybody. Raining again. Uh, as you can see, I have not cleaned the bus. <laughs> but I did get both swivel seats in. That guy's in place. And that guy's in place. I got to get him cleaned up and stuff now. I'm going to redo the mount for the table that goes in between the swing away table. And I did something else here, too. This front grab rail here. I moved it back. Can you see that? I moved it back about six inches. Did the same up here too. I had to take this off and shorten it in here. And there's a little nylon ball in there. It fits up in there to make it tight. But um, I haven't got the screws in yet because I'm going to go buy some new stainless ones. I just stuck one in here just to hold it for the for the time being in case somebody comes in and yanks on it for some weird reason. Could could happen. I don't want it to come apart, but um, so this is what we have in the front. I'm sure I'm sorry it's dark. It's uh, just one of those things. Now down here on the step, um, when this seat swivels back around, the front of the seat's going to be right in here. And for leg room, I was thinking about right here building a panel right here. Put some. Uh, uh, L brackets right in here, a, f a solid, a solid piece of aluminum L bracket right here in here, and I have a stainless steel leg stand that I could put, cut it down and put it right there, and uh, have a foot spot. If you, you'll notice that the uh, between the two rails, it's a little bit narrower now. It's not as wide as it was, but there's plenty of room here. It's actually more comfortable because you can get both of your hands on the rails. Well, that's where I'm at right now. When I get back with you, I'll have these stainless, stainless screws put in and I'll have that table mount built and it'll all be in place. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to work out pretty good. So, um, anybody has any comments, let me know. Oh, and these seats are real comfortable too. And they will swivel around. They'll, they'll swivel completely where they face each other. Or they'll swivel into the forward positions for traveling. Or you could actually travel facing each other too if I set up the seat belts the proper way. Um, I still have to put those on too. That seat belt right there is set up for uh, this seat to be in the forward position. And I have to put the retractors. There's some seat belt retractors that go into that rail behind the seat on each side. There's one that goes on here, and there's one that goes back there. Well, I'll catch you guys in a little while. What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> How long you been there? Spying on me again. All right. I just got, I got this stuff finished up here. Got the mount built for the table. I was just taking a little siesta here. Set that up, spin that back forward. I think that this is gonna be the way right here, that I'm going to set it up for travel. That way I can put the table right here, tighten down the little arm, and I'm going to build a storage area. Let's see if I can turn you. Right here for the tabletop. This is what the tabletop bottom looks like. Just pop that dude in there. And we have a nice little table. Yeah, I thought down there would make a perfect spot right down there behind that seat. Well, how's everybody doing today? Let me get you off there. Well, here we are. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just set this up to where 
the front seat's facing that way and that one's facing forward. Yep, plenty of room in here now. I was trying to move this so I could show you what I did down here. There, we got some light. I built a hardwood base just to hold the bottom steady and I put another bolt in right there. There's the tightener for the arm. So, that's in now. All I've got left is just seat belts. Oh, and I, um, I went ahead and put all new stainless bolts up here. And down here at the base. Yeah, a little dark, can't see it. But anyway, it's got two brand new stainless bolts down there. I'll get that cleaned up though. And, um, And there's the seating area. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I did get the bus clean. Took all the tools out of here, except for the tripod, naturally. And got the shelves all emptied out, sinks and everything pretty much empty. Well, a little, little stuff right there. But And now I gotta open up the side doors and just get a couple items out of the back there. But, um, it's going down to the DMV tomorrow and have it uh, get it certified as a, uh, a motorhome. I think I have enough in it now that it would uh, go ahead and certify. And I'll get an MH on my title in California, which makes me um, smog exempt for the new car laws on the diesel vehicles because uh, motorhomes are exempt. So that's good. And there's Ruby, going to leave his mark on everything. What are you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. He's been a good boy today. He hasn't bothered me. Matter of fact, this is the first I've seen him. He kind of messed up my little sleeping routine there. <laughs> okay. Um... Next, I think I'm just going to keep on cleaning this bus up and uh, get it ready for tomorrow's inspection. Then on Friday, it's going down, which is uh, day after tomorrow. It's going to go down and uh, get an oil change. It's going to get all serviced up. And I'm going to have them tune the motor perfectly. And uh, we should be in good shape. Um, then I'm going to start in on all the electrical and the plumbing. And... Once I get that done, I can put the uh, bed boards down back here and put the bed in. Um, it's going to get a queen size uh, um, Tempur-Pedic type mattress in back there, uh, memory foam mattress. And this bed here is also going to get a memory foam mattress. It's going to be nice and comfy in here. Okay, that's all I got for you right now. I got to get back to my nap. See you guys later.